Let's talk about render because render is an important part of the workflow uh, in here. So let's imagine that you want to, going to add some sound over here. Uh, essentially, when you add some sound, you this is trying to inform you that the sample rate of the original audio file is different from the sample rate of your project and the system will automatically uh, change the sample rate because sometimes your sound library may have sounds with different sample rates and the system is able to automatically uh, change the their do a resample of the audio so you don't need to worry but it's only to inform you and also let's add some audio modifiers like a random delay with four seconds which means that all particles will start reproducing within the first four seconds and since there is this is a quite short sound it will, will going to have all of this effect okay so let's do some render because like I was mentioned, sometimes, especially when you are creating a huge number of particles, uh, imagine that you are having a render with thousands of particles and each particle from the software point of view, it's going to act as being um, uh, audio track. So if you have, for instance, 1000 uh, particles, it's going to be 1000 audio tracks that the system needs to handle and render so essentially after all you have created all of these and you're going to do the, the render process so you press this button over here and then the system is going to render so in this case it's a short sound it's only 100 particles so the render was quite uh, fast so essentially in this case okay you have all of this information about your uh, about your you have all of this render audio of your project and um, then you have render you can listen of course okay when you stop it's going to return to your original uh, position and um, and then imagine that you want to use this on your project on pro tools or something like that you simply come here and say okay export audio and then you say, okay, I want to export this, my audio file to some location. If you are using a mono or a stereo file, a mono or a stereo microphone, it's going to uh, export this as a mono or a stereo uh, WAV file. If you are using multi-channel like uh, 9.1 or something like that, essentially this, uh, by exporting the audio file, it's going to export a different file for each channel so it's going to be one file for left for another for center another for right another for surround left surround right and so on so you have all of these file audio files that you can then import in your in your uh, pro tools or or your workstation that you are using to use the this also let i'm going to i'll increase this let's say for instance uh, for a uh, thousand particles so i'm going to render everything and as you are render you have all of this information about the progress the number of render frames how much time has passed and what is the remaining time it gives you information about your gpu and memory so it's going to give you information you can see how much cores are being used and the the, the actual memory that the system is using and also Anytime if you want to uh, render everything from scratch, usually you don't need this, but eventually if you can, you can clear render. So you're going to clear everything from scratch and then you can render uh, again. And anytime, imagine that you are rendered, you can already start listening to the sound that you are getting because sometimes you can cancel say, ah, no, this is definitely not the kind of sound that I want. You can't simply stop it or eventually you can render everything later on so eventually it continue it continues the render later and and you can do all of this so the system will going to continue render everything as time goes by so eventually if you want to cancel simply press cancel event if you want to start listening during the render you can 
listen to the, the audio that you are getting from during the render.